All right, here we go. This question coming in Ooh. from you are blessed double zero top five must have formations in Madden 15. So obviously everyone knows. Currently, I'm a big fan. Single back ace. You got the gun split close. You have very popular online pistol bunch tight end, um, and then you've got single back bunch PA end around strong yeah. close. But I want to show you kind of like a fancy formation. Uh, this is one that not everyone uses all the time, and it's one of the most unique in the game. So you might be able to throw off your opponents with it, especially with the heavy zone coverage. Right here. It's the bunch quads. Gun bunch quads. We're going to take a look at that here on This Week in Madden. So gun bunch quads, uh, you're going to find this in two playbooks. Uh, the Jets and the Chiefs. Could be in a third. You know, might, might be testing my knowledge here, but could be in a third. But this is uh, one of the most unique sets in the game because you actually, it's an empty set and you have four receivers split to one side and then you also have a bunch alignment. So when you think of this, you can do everything that you kind of do out of a bunch formation, like gun bunch, single back bunch, but then you can do it out with an extra receiver on that side. So it yes. does a great job flooding routes. Um, this was one of my favorite formations last year. This year, I kind of have stayed away from it because you, you want to run the ball a little bit more this year. So, um, you know, a play that you can kind of look to right away is uh, the drag under. This is kind of your four verticals play. Uh, I like to flip it as well. You know, I like reads left to right. But um, this play, it gives you the same type of, uh, you know, think of vertical Seattle type play. You have the yes. post, you have the two wheels on the left, you have a streak on the right. So it does a lot of things that uh, verticals will do. You can have a lot of success with this play. It beats a lot of different defenses. Uh, if they play man, if they play zone, so if right here you're in zone, you can check down to the drag, cut it up field, make some plays. Um, you have the verticals for user catching, so pretty flexible. Um, obviously what hurts it is is there's no run. Uh, you have a quarterback draw, but... I right, I will say that the gun... So one another formation we liked a lot last year was the Minnesota. Yep. Uh, and they have the motion read option from that, so if you do kind of find yourself maybe liking some bunch of quads, you could think about that, or is that not quite the same? Um, is that run not really so that, that powerful? No, it's pretty good. So the difference that you'd see is, I don't think I can motion a guy over. The difference you'd see is this. Let's pretend Corliss, let's pretend that Cobb is in that bunch. The, the Vikings formation would look just like this, but Cobb would be bunched with Adams and Boykin. Um, so it's a gun empty bunch. So it's it twins on the right, bunch on the left. It's it's pretty much the same. You're gonna get the same route concepts, uh, but it does have that motion read op options, which can be pretty valuable. I think it was better last year. I think read options aren't as good this year. They're still annoying. Yeah. You still have to respect them. Yeah. But uh, you seem to not really be able to pick as up pick up as many yards this year with them. Indeed, indeed. So a nice formation here. You can do a lot from it. Bunch quads. Not something you're gonna see everybody running online can be a good mix to throw your opponent off and beat some of that zone coverage. You want a, prob a mobile quarterback as the run threat because there's no run plays in the formation. Correct. All right. So we've got 